At least nine people died in gun battles after armed men stormed into a jail in Guinea's capital and briefly freed former military ruler Musa Dadis Kamara and other detained army officers. Troops searched houses and cars after the break-in, found the former President Kamara and two of the escaped officers and put them back in Conakry's Central House prison the same day. The clashes underline the fragile security situation in the West African country, which is ruled by a military junta that ceased power in 2021. Here's a report. Security forces in Kanaki, Guinea, sealing off all roads and highways of Kaloum district, the administrative center of the Guinean capital. The action came after heavily armed commandos freed former Guinean dictator Musa Dades Kamara from prison in an operation that sparked heavy gunfire. On the night of Friday, November 3rd to Saturday, November 4th, armed individuals sought public disorder by targeting Konarki's central prison and helped some inmates linked to the painful events of September 28, 2009 escape. Guinean security forces launched a manhunt after the prison break. Soldiers patrolled the capital in armored personnel carriers as officers stopped and searched passing cars and set up roadblocks with their vehicles. Local residents described hearing the rat-a-tat of gunfire from the district where Kamara and others were held at the Central House prison. There were several warning shots and then it calmed down. During the two prayers at 6 o'clock in the morning, the rifle sounded again. After the prayer, we came outside. Here we saw that the sky was not at all normal, but it did not last. A pickup came to stop here and began to shoot again. Everyone ran home. Hours after the great escape, the Ghanaian military recaptured the former dictator. The defense and security forces have put an end to the escape of Captain Musa Dadis Kamara, Colonel Musa Tegbor Kamara and Colonel Blaise Gomu. All are safe and sound and have been returned to prison in Konarki. I assure you that all security measures have been taken to find the last fugitive, Colonel Claude PV. A lawyer for the ex-strongman claimed he had been kidnapped. The country's prosecutor ordered authorities to investigate charges of escaping jail and weapons possession against Kamara and three other individuals. However, Kamara's attorney later said her client was back at the central jail where he was being questioned. Kamara came to power in a 2008 coup following the death of longtime dictator Lansana Kante. Kamara had lived for years in exile after surviving an assassination attempt by one of his bodyguards before returning home to Guinea in late 2021. More than a dozen suspects were charged in connection with the 2009 massacre, when Ghanaian security forces fired upon peaceful demonstrators protesting against his intention to run for president after seizing power. Kamara and several co-defendants were sent to prison in 2022, a day before their trial opened for the 2009 stadium massacre. Kamara, who had been living in exile in Burkina Faso, returned to Conakry to stand trial. Delays by those in power and the impunity for security forces that had become an institution long cast doubt on the chances of a trial. Then the head of the current military junta, Colonel Mamade Dumbuya, who came to power in a putsch in 2021 after 11 years of civilian rule, demanded the trial be held before the next anniversary date. Bureau report, we on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.